So they finally did it, they nerfed the MP5, but is it still good? Was it OP? Is it reasonable to nerf the MP5? That's the topic of this video. Hello guys, Ivan the German is back and today's topic is the MP5 nerf. A lot of players use the MP5 for a good reason. You get it early on, it's a favorite weapon from a lot of players and it's basically a very good gun. But, and that's why it's kinda, or it looks kinda OP, a lot of players use it because it's good and it's you can handle it in every situation with this gun. And as I said, that's why it made it looks like this gun is OP because a lot of guys are using or use this gun. Right now I finished max level with the MP5 with about 1080 kills. So you need 1080 kills to reach the maximum weapon level. And that means you have to play a lot with one single gun to unlock the good perks for it. And another reason is, even if you want to get your gold camo, I got 1200 and parapeng kills with this gun and don't complete the gold camo. I'm not tryharding or I, in the first time I didn't try hard at the gold camo stuff and I just need 20 um, of those point blank kills to get my gold camo. But what that means is that you have to play a lot with your weapon. It's kind of you have to main your weapon and you have to play a lot with it. And as I said, you can deal in most of the situations very well with the MP5. But I have to say a lot of guys wrote on Reddit on or Facebook or wherever, they get outranged. I got my AR and I got outranged with an MP5 and it's the new sniper and all that stuff. And if you get outranged from an MP5, you're just better than the other player. Real talk, guys. Serious, guys. If you are an AR player and you cannot kill a guy with an MP5 on a longer distance, he just played better. Deal with it. And that's why I think most of the voices in the community are maybe a bit too loud. I would say the MP5 is a very good gun. And in the alpha, it wasn't that good as it in the current game is. Maybe, or I would say they increased it, the performance in the beta, but not in the alpha. Oh and right now, they, as I said, they nerfed it. They reduced the weapon range effectiveness by 33%, which is, in my opinion, it is a bit. And they um, adjusted the initial recoil. In terms of recoil, I would say I don't notice it that much. That's why I can't understand why to use the agency suppressor maybe right now because you lose much more uh, effective range and uh, that's why i use the normal suppressor uh, because i don't want to lose this effectiveness on range but as i said the weapon or smgs by itself don't have that much recoil but right now you can notice the damage effectiveness on bigger ranges uh, but I would say the nerf is okay it's okay if people think that the mp5 deserve the nerf so right now I can shut the fuck up basically and play um, but the real thing is check the m16 and AUK they are very solid and very very strong guns and the thing is with the mp5 you can run around or you have to run around to make your kills but with the m16 or with the AUK you can just head glitch and camp and that improves the camping steady gameplay again and I hate this and right now the maps are with so many head glitches the people are standing behind them with their burst firing weapons and they kill you quite fast and especially AUK is a very strong gun. Uh, even ARs uh, like the AK and the normal AR-15 if you have the bullet velocity barrel um, especially the AK is pretty strong and I'm, I don't know why not that much people are recognizing it or playing those guns. So in my opinion you don't need to nerf the MP5 because the other SMGs are very strong too. Even the FFAR, the last assault rifle, will outperform the MP5 by far because it's very, very good performing assault rifle with a high rate of fire, nearly no recoil and all that stuff from the MP5, but a little bit better in my opinion. But I like the MP5 and that's why I like to play it. I like the SD version and that's why I like to play my MP5 silenced. I like the whole ninja running around MP5 gameplay. That's why I think the nerf isn't that worse because it's not changing the gameplay so much. But you can notice your limited range of fire effectiveness. But be aware about even more AUG and M16 players. 
these guns are meta right now in my opinion and even the other smgs like the aksu and even milano you i think you can make some good builds out of it the burst fire mp is quite a useless in my opinion it's pretty bad in beta and alpha it was pretty bad and it's pretty bad right now i not i don't see a lot of players using this gun because yeah it's kind of useless to be honest and i don't understand why the orc is a burst firing gun that doesn't make really sense but okay we have to deal with it and a basic ar would be even better but right now with the burst mode uh, it's pretty strong i will make a video about it and the biggest biggest issue in this game are the shotguns why in hell can we use as a sidearm some shotguns which are fucking which are damn OP. We have another Modern Warfare situation here. The first pump action shotgun is so strong. You have a such wide and big effectiveness with this gun. It's really overpowered. I hate shotguns, which are so super strong. It, you don't have to have so much skill to use it. It's like, okay, just shoot and kill everything on great distance are most of the shots two shots. And that's ridiculous. I will send you some clips what you can do with the pump action shotgun. It's ridiculous. I don't like it. And those are the screws which you have to work on it. And maybe they will bring some change with season one, some weapon balancing. They posted on Twitter, they will do something to season one. But right now they nerfed the MP5, which is okay. I wouldn't say it's necessary, but it's okay. But guys, focus on the burst firing guns and even the shotguns. And it's ridiculous that you can use it as a sidearm. So guys, let me think what you think about this nerf and weapon experience and all that stuff. I will make a video about gold camos and even my my best class videos which were really popular in world war 2 call of duty we will bring that back in cold war it seems like i can play a little bit better from performance wise i don't have the bug for uh, for uh, for a long time now um, i will link you the video which bug i had and my performance going up so i can complain and i try to get my gold camo for for my mp5 with the ridiculous point blank stuff it's Point blank it really means point blank. It's ridiculous again, but it's a topic for another video guys If you like what to see subscribe and let's jump to the next video